special greeting for all the audience of Priana TV and on this a program of Health Hub. Weekly we are here to talk about health, especially under the title of Creation Plan. Today is our three episode. Today we will talk about rest, the second letter of this acrostic creation. The letter R means rest. We will talk about that or we will see many topics about rest in general. But before of that, I would like to go with you uh, like a rapid summary of how was our last week talking uh, of choosing. So I will leave you with this special summary. Okay, enjoy it. See, from choose the gifts given a creation. Exercise your power of choice. R. Choose to rest and enjoy nature's sweet restore. E. From choose an environment that you will flourish in. A. Choose activity for growth and strength. T. From choose to trust in God and his wisdom given a creation. A balance of the principles of creation. I. Choose to connect through interpersonal relationships. O. From choose to have an outlook on life that reflects the Creator's love. And N. From choose to eat God's bounty and join in the nutrition of Adam. Well, so today we want to talk about rest, but uh, to introduce the special guest that I have for you today, let me say that has been one of my best choices in my life. It's my wife. She will be with you. Enjoy her words and her experience. By God's grace, she will do it and she will try to show different um, aspects about the rest. God bless you. Bye. Hello, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here with you also. Uh, my name is Diane Esther Ospina. I am from Colombia, but I'm doing and finishing here a master in critical care in Egypt and critical care and nursing emergencies. Um, I was asked to share with you some of the some tips that may help not only patients but everyone who's le looking for sleep quality. And there are many things you you can do if you are looking to improve your the quality of your sleep. So one of the things I will surely recommend, or some of the things I will recommend, is to look for a comfortable place. Uh, look for a good bed, a good mattress, look for good pillows. This is very important. The light in the room should be also uh, uh, turned off, ideally. No lights coming into your room. As, dark it, uh, as darker as possible, it's better. Uh, it should be a fresh, fresh area. Um, not hot, not so cold either. It should be in a temperature where your body completely feels comfortable. This is very important. Try to avoid also caffeine, um, um, everything that will uh, stimulate your body, okay? A lot of sugar, alcohol, um, uh, drugs, caffeine that will increase or will um, uh, stimulate your whole body. This is something you should avoid to go to sleep. You can take a warm bath before going to bed. This will help your body to relax. There are also some relaxing exercises um, that you can do, like deep breathe, uh, like uh, soft music. This everything will help you to relax before going to bed. Another thing that also may help you is uh, drinking maybe a a warm cup of milk or um, infusion tea, uh, not green tea, no black tea, this, is, this will be stimulating, but uh, infusion tea will also help your body to relax. This will be also very, very helpful. Um, for some people, reading works. For me, it definitely works. I take a book, book at night and I will fall asleep. So if you can read, have some reading before sleep and this will help you, you can use that alternative also. Um, um, quiet, a quiet room is important. No hard music around, sometimes in some areas that's hard, but try to find the quietest uh, place as possible. 
But there are some things that you know you need to do before all these during the day. If you do exercise, if you take sunlight, if you are breathing fresh air, all these things will help you to improve the quality of your sleep. But if during the day you were not having that or you are having, for example, excess of sleep during the day, then of course this will influence or will affect your night's sleep. Another tip that I wanted to mention is that uh, your last meal should be, according to some studies, three hours, according to some others, two hours at least before you're going to sleep. So if you eat, try to eat maximum at 7 p.m. so you can go to sleep between 8, 9, okay, as early as possible. That's also very important. Try to go to sleep early and wake up early. Another thing that I will uh, also recommend is having a regular sleep patterns. Um, try to go to sleep always in the same time and in, during the nights you are taking naps, also try to do those naps in the same time. Remember that rest is not only the time you spend sleeping. Rest is also the breaks you take daily. We have different types of rest. We have daily rest, as I was mentioning, those seconds, minutes you take from your work and you stretch, you stretch your muscles to give some oxygen to your entire body. Those minutes you take to go around the corner, to walk a little bit, or maybe go to the closest window, window you have and take some deep breaths. All this is part of the daily rest. If you do some exercise in the morning, this is rest. If you lay down for some minutes after a hard day of work, this is rest. But also we have weekly rest. Uh, God himself, he is uh, asking or uh, teaching us and asking us to rest one day in the week. So you need to take at least one day in the week, a whole day for rest. So take Sabbath, take the other day you want, but take a day of rest. Also, we should have a monthly rest and rest every year. Monthly, maybe we, you can go with your family to a zoo or to have dinner in a restaurant. Do something different. Maybe not so expensive. You can have an ice cream in the corner. Something that will be easier for you. But try to do that. Take your time to rest. And my last tip will be leave your problems outside your bedroom. Don't bring your work troubles or your family problems into your bedroom because this will take your sleep away. So try to close the door and leave those problems outside. Yeah, so our mothers and mothers were right. As Benjamin Franklin already quoted, early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise. Many studies can support actually their position. Um, Timothy Hunt, one of the most uh, famous uh, doctors and uh, researchers on this field, support with many studies about this and many others behind him. Um, so we have a lot of information about that, but what about us? What about our life? What about you? Are you sleeping well? Are you resting? We are really appreciating the gift of God to rest one day per week. To recover from all our burdens, our journeys day by day. Are we really appreciating the holidays annually? We are really going to sleep as we should and waking up as we should. This is our challenge today to see all this together and try to show us rest better. That's our invitation. Don't miss the next chapter that we will talk about the environment and we will bring you nice surprises. God bless you, all of you.